Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. Today I have a little cup battle against uh, Flaming Axel, who a uh, subscriber of mine, and there's a link to his channel in the description and the annotations. Um, I asked him whether he, you know, whether this was. I, I basically every time I get a little cup challenge or challenge someone to a little cup, I have to decide which of my little cup teams am I going to use—the fun one or the boring, awesome one. And, um, you know, I tried to gauge without asking, like, okay, what's your team? You know, which team I should use? And uh, I chose the weaker of the two teams. And uh, that's fine looking at the Pokemon he has. He does have that uh, Mischievous, but I can usually deal with Mischievous, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I lead off with Keats because I do not see a Defogger. Uh, and especially, come on, with Pharaoh Seed here. I don't actually see a Spinner either, but with Pharaoh Seed, uh, I'm pretty sure he's not going to... Um, do anything, or he's not going to have a defogger because these guys almost always set up hazards. So it goes for T-Wave, um, and does cripple my Keats, and Keats is actually a decent Pokemon, so, uh, and it, although it heavily relies on its speed, uh, yeah, it got fully paralyzed, Urgh! but, um, yeah, it, it is what it is. Uh, he does not take me out because Iron Head is resisted, but I do get the flinch, so para flinch, decent strategy. He is going to go ahead and take me out with a seed bomb here, and so that is a dead Keats, but Keats did its primary job, and that's setting up the sticky web. So that's great. I go out now into I, and I go for the substitute because I figure he's first going to want to uh, go for the, another T wave. And indeed, he did go for a T wave, so I'm like, aha, I am behind a sub. What you going to do now? What you going to do now? So I go for the superpower here. It's going to boost my attack and defense, and that is great. Um, and I'm behind a sub, so it's like, you can't do anything to me. What, you're going to break with a seed bomb? That's fine. I'll just go for another sub. Um, yeah, iron barbs ain't great, but it's not horrible either. And he goes for explosion. And I'm like, oh, man, because the re I wanted to be behind a sub. I was really expecting him to switch out into Mischievous, and I was thinking, well, you know, maybe I shouldn't go for the superpower because, you know, Mischievous is a thing. But I figured I'm behind a sub. Worst that happens is I waste a turn and then take him out with a uh, Night Slash. Um, but now I don't have a sub. As Mischievous comes out, I'm like, crap, 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 crap. And, you know, if I were a Violite, maybe I could take a Shadow Ball, but I don't know. Well, I mean, I'll do the Calc. Maybe I can. Um, but I got an Amidimus, because that's my best shot of surviving a Shadow Ball and taking him out. And holy crap, that did a lot of damage, and gets a special defense drop. And I'm thinking, wow, I'm betting this guy is Specs, because I think only Specs uh, would do quite that much damage, especially as I sent out Angler here. I had to sack, uh, basically the, the problems I had to sack someone. And Angler, I was really hoping could survive, and I was thinking, here, maybe that was just max damage, and Angler can survive the next hit, does not survive, Angler goes down, and I have lost my Chin Chow. But looking at his team, Chin Chow wasn't going to be the most useful Pokemon. Anyway, now I got into Minimus, and I'm going to go for the Spore, because I can take one as long as he doesn't crit. So he goes ahead and switches out, because, you know, Spore is a thing, it's obvious. He goes out into Lickitung, the, probably his most useless Pokemon, and I'm thinking, that's just great. That's just horrible. Uh, go for the Spore. Uh, and so that's going to be an Asleep Lickitung. Man, Lickitung is huge. I mean, not as huge as, like, Onyx. Like, Onyx is huge. But, like, when you're playing Little Cup, you know, the, what I love about Gen 6 is that the, the relative sizes, you can actually see the relative sizes. So Pokemon that actually are small look small. And Pokemon that are big actually look big. So that's kind of neat. So here I really should have predicted this and just gone for the Night Slash. I think I swatched... I think it has Night Slash instead of, um... Actually, I think, um... I, it still has, um... The, uh... Foul play. But either way, it would have worked. Anyway, uh, I'm thinking now he's gonna sweep my entire team. I go for the Shadow Sneak on the off chance that because he's almost certainly Specs, I can actually KO, but it doesn't. And Longclaw is now going to die. <sighs> Man... Game Freak, why'd you have to get rid of Steel's um, Ghost and Dark type resistance? Why'd you have to do that? Steel wasn't overpowered. At least I didn't think so. It had plenty of weaknesses. It, I don't know. Put it back, man. Put it back in Gen 7. Please, because I miss it. Anyway, I just go ahead and take out Mischievous here. Um, Mr. Grievous, haha. <laughs> Very funny. Um, and at least it's not going to be a complete sweep, but I am down to my last two Pokemon. But I'm thinking, you know, I do have Minimus, definitely this team's MVP, and I think, okay, this should be a... <clears throat> things should be okay. <coughs> I really wish that this were not this... I wish I could switch out, but I can't. He goes for the EQ, I survive with 5, and I'm just gonna get a Drain, and it's gonna take him down to his Sash. Obvious Sash is obvious, but I really wish that, um... 
I've been able to switch out and um, go, go out into clay, uh, my ball toy. Um, so here Diglett goes for Memento. And I was thinking, that is a strange move. And, um, you know, I can just switch out. I have another Pokemon. Um, so, you know, fine. You want to KO, KO yourself? That's fine. I don't really care. So Diglett goes down, and that is that. And Giga Drain, whatever. It doesn't... Whatever. Uh, out now is going to be Clamperl, and I'm thinking, crap, I don't actually, I don't, can't actually afford to switch out, because he's just going to go for the Shell Smash and proceed to sweep, so all I gotta do is hope for a crit, and Clamperl survives that hit, and so now I'm like, crap, he's going to take me out with an Ice Beam, although maybe not, because I'm back to, you know, decent HP, but, I mean, almost certainly he holds the Deep Sea Scale, and, yeah, Minimus is dead. Bye, Minimus. And all I've got left is Claydol. Now I do have the I do have a speed advantage here because um, because of the sticky web, speed advantage really helps here. I am able to KO that Clamperl, um, so that's nice. So, um, but I can't do nothing to Scrafty or Scraggy rather because almost certainly carries the Crunch. I don't have this. Well, it doesn't matter if I have a Psychic or not. He's Dark type, so all, best I can do is Earth Power, and it's not going to do that much. And this is good game. Um, yeah, look, that did nothing. So he's going to go for the knockoff. I'm going to survive on three. That's very respectable, Baltoy. But yeah, Baltoy sucks. And, you know, here's where it really shows. So I've got two, uh, like three maybe useless Pokemon on this team. Again, this team is not good. Um, and had I known that my opponent was actually was carrying that mischievous, I think I probably would have used my other team and kind of probably swept him easily. So there, this, my, my opponent's team kind of falls in that weird uh, middle ground of too good for one team, too bad for the other. I'm not going to call it bad off the bat. I'm not sure that I would have won. But anyway, that's it. I'm babbling. Good game, uh, Flaming Axel. So long, folks.